Three and a half years ago, my mission to attend each of the big four events in WWE truly began. I mean, <clears throat> technically my mission began years ago, like over a decade ago, when I was just a kid. And so, in 2016, I attended my first WrestleMania, WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas. It was beautiful. It felt like a dream come true, honestly. Not many people can really experience something like that. And of course, while well, I've also attended two previous WrestleManias after that, WrestleMania 33 in Orlando, WrestleMania 35 in New Jersey. All of it was great. That was just WrestleMania. And I'm honestly surprised that when it came to my mission to attend each of the big four events, the one that really came first was the one that I thought would come last. You know, it's okay. WrestleMania kicked it off. I've been to three WrestleManias now. But after that, after WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, I got the opportunity. I attended WWE Live, a house show in Toronto, which is where I'm heading to right now. And they just announced that, oh yeah, uh, WWE Survivor Series is going to be in Toronto later this November. So I took advantage of that, got ringside, got seventh row ringside tickets. I still have the chair for that. I didn't vlog it because I was with my brother Hunter and he was not comfortable with being on camera. So yeah, that sort of thing. But it was okay because we had a good time and that crossed that off my list. Survivor Series and WrestleMania, I've been to two. I was already half, in one single year, I was already halfway down my mission. But it took another year and a few months before I continued it again. In 2018, when I attended the Royal Rumble event in Philadelphia. And here's the thing, attending these shows gave me chances to not only have a good time, but also to experience places I've never been to. Like I was ne I've never been to Dallas, Orlando, New York, or Philadelphia before I attended these shows. And so to be able to get the opportunity to do that was amazing. I really enjoyed myself very much at that time. And now, tonight, in Toronto, is SummerSlam. This is it. SummerSlam was the culmination of my mission to attend each of the big four events. And now, it's... Feels a little surreal, don't you think? When you, for close to two decades, try your best to do something that you've always wanted to do. And for longest time you never got the chance but no matter how long you waited you were confident that one day you could actually get it done so that's what I did I'm happy for that and I'm proud of myself I'm proud of my fans my family my friends and I uh, just want to let you guys know one thing um in the trailer, it showed who was all going to be there with me. Uh, unfortunately, my uncle Jarrett is not going to be attending because he's not feeling well today. So, he's not going to be at the show tonight, which is a shame. Uh, so, I feel better, Uncle Jarrett. Everybody else, though, will be there. Mama Miracle, Donna, Long Neck Josh, Sam Nobles, Brian, and Nick Eber, too. friend Daryl, another one of my YouTube friends, Youngster, 
and who, who knows how, who else will show up at that, but everybody who I'm attending the show with, I've been to at least one show when they were present, and it's honestly just been a great and wonderful thing, and I'm so glad to have been a part of it. All right, guys, I'll pick it up later, maybe at the train station, because I'm heading to the train station to get to Toronto, and then, well... It's on the way to Scotiabank Arena to party before SummerSlam begins. Yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. I just know it. So, I'll see you guys later on. Ready? All right. I am getting ready to take the 24 7 championship Ric Flair style. Come here. What the? Come here. Oh! <laughs> back here behind me. Hey. <laughs> I have no idea who these two are. <laughs> who are you two? I don't know. <laughs> We're going up to the Jays Yankees game. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you have a good time at the Rogers Center. <laughs> yep. Sounds like you're getting up at the same station we are. <laughs> Seriously, though, what are you excited for? Why are you wearing a Goldberg shirt? He sucks. And why are you wearing a Brock Lesnar shirt? He sucks. Because they were the best ones they had. The selection was limited You know what's yesterday. funny about this, actually? <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Oh, God. Been there, done that. Bought the t-shirt. The last time we were at uh, Toronto, had a pay-per-view, actually. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's only a few of us. Uh, and then there's, well, this guy over here. What's up, Brian? It's Hello. been a while. And uh, whoever this is. <laughs> <laughs> nice face, Nick. <laughs> yeah, we are all assembling together for SummerSlam like we planned it out. Yep. This oh, for... Soda was fizzing up the mouth. Uh-huh, soda fizzing up the mouth. <laughs> for Nicky over here, this is actually his first ever pay-per-view. Yep. He's only been to... T his third show overall, he's only been to two house shows in Rochester. I would know because I was at both of them. That is correct information. As for Mom, this is her third Big Four event overall and the second for Donna. This is, well, everybody knows, the culmination of my mission. It's the last time I've, it's the last Big Four I've not attended yet, and that was Final SummerSlam. Final Sinfinity Stone. I've already, got the, I've already got the Sinfinity Stones and I'm ready for the Sinfinity War once I'm done with SummerSlam. The Sinfinity Snap. I don't feel so good. And he's gone. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe this was a bad idea. Mm. Anyways, we're on the train. We're about to get out of here. So we're heading into the station. So I'll see you guys at Union Station. Out. For us, as long as it takes for these guys about two seconds. Yep. Starting. This is your two Well, what do you know? It did take the fans two seconds to get here. For us, it took like an hour or something like that, huh? <laughs> Rogers Center, CN Tower. The Paul by Squishy Bank Arena. Wrestling fans, assemble. <coughs> Ooh, wait, I saw that. <laughs> Up ahead. Welcome to the party. Ah. Look at it. Welcome to the wow. party. About to become nine times here.
24-7 title. It's amazing because everybody knows this has always been mine. See, I'm the 24-7 championships, and I'm a four-time champ now. That's how it works, bro. Congratulations. Yeah, all right, get out of here. Side of my beautiful kingdom of Toronto as your four-time optimistic 24-7 champion. One thing's for sure. I one, two, three. Oh no, Christian, what do you say? Oh my God! Oh Jesus! All right, hand it over! Oh no! Five time champ now. Uh, no, it's SummerSlam event. Look at that! You don't touch my stuff, man. You don't touch my stuff. Uh, look what we got here. We got Skylar S, the new optimistic 24-7 champion. Woo! Congratulations Woo! very much to you. Now, what's going to be the result of this? Oh, RKO. Are you going to relinquish the bell? Do you want to relinquish the bell or do you want to... Or run away. Congratulations to Skylar S. Oh my god! And RKO out of nowhere! Josh, Josh, cover, cover, cover! Cover one! Two. Oh, he kicked out! He kicked out! He kicked out! Oh! Shots right to the head! Oh, and to the leg! To the leg! To the leg! One! Two! Oh, and a kick out again! Careful now! Boom! And stunner! Cover, one, two, three, and the new Optimistic 24 7 champion, Yonster 12! All right, that was good. It was good seeing you, man. Congratulations, you're going to be on YouTube, man. You're on my YouTube channel for my vlog. Former Optimistic 24 7 champion will definitely keep you in the history books, man. Yeah, you're in the lineage. Congratulations. Baron Corbin's a former champ. And Wait, did you pick Love that up off the ground? Off, off the ground. Oh, then it's still his then. It has to be physically handed over by... It's not yours, man. It's not yours, Nikki. In order for it to be yours, yeah, I have to... Oh, look at that right here. YouTube channel is uh, Christian Miracle. Oh, just look up everything wrong with WWE and you'll find me. That's what everybody knows me most as. Super kicked. One, two, two. Boom. Come on. One, two, no. I guess this guy's not gonna stay down for anything. Good. Uh, Christian Miracle. Oh, the stop. Kid, you gonna count? You gotta count? Here we go! One, two, two, three. Oh, Lana Josh, the first ever 10 time Optimistic 24 7 champion. First ever 10 time champion. Congratulations. Okay, come on, get back up. You're serious. Back up, buddy. You good? Yeah. Here's your belt. Well done, you did good on that. And congratulations to the 10 time champion. Boom. Ooh. 
Let's, uh, let's take a break, shall we? <laughs> All right, championship timeout. Championship timeout. Quiet. Yes, sir. What'd you think of that, huh? Ten time champion. Ten time champion. Congratulations. Hey, you know what? Hey. All, right, all four champs. Let's get you all in there. All four champs. Hold up. Hold your All together. All right. So I'll get my stuff really quickly. All right. Look at that right here. Woo! We got four champions. All right. So, so Josh, first of all, I want to ask, what's it feel like to be a 10-time Optimistic 20% champion? 10-time champion. champion. You already know what's up. We got, oh, what a roundhouse kick connects. Oh, count, count it. One, two, three. Nikki Virtu, the new, the now two-time Optimistic 20% champion. Congratulations, and the 10-time champ's been dethroned. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You just lost your title, boy. Hey, you better get back here. Anybody else? And he's left with the title. This is what you call everybody who's here. I've attended at least one show in. Everybody has assembled today for SummerSlam, and this is going to be amazing. Everybody ready for SummerSlam? Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here as well. It's the one and the only. It's, go ahead and say it. Can't, no, I can't do it? Let me guess, was Velvet Dream born? Before the show started. Wow. Of course, I lost my voice before the it's all, it's all good. Paul Heyman, this is the one, the only, X. Woo! Yeah, the doors are open, we're in for Summer Slam. You're in for Summer Slam? Universal, you got the Universal title. Who you got winning? I don't care. Okay. Yeah, we're hanging out there. Mama Miracle's over there and everybody else is. We're assembled. Let's make a pact that during like halftime or fist break matches or whatever we all meet up. Maybe. Maybe we'll make something happen. I don't know. We're here to watch the show, man. That or after the show, something like that. Well, after the show, we got, we got a lot of things. Everybody show the tickets! All right, we are out of here, guys, because the doors have opened. Ready for this? Let's do it. Give me a hell yeah. If you're ready for SummerSlam, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! You don't piece you know of what? Trash. You know what? If they won't do it, then we will. Hell yeah! The doors are open and we're going in, right? Yep. All of us. Thank you. Every one of us is all over the place. Time for the show. All right, all right I'll hang out. Enjoy the show, guys. This is it. First of all, what do you think you're at SummerSlam now? Man? No, no, no. It feels good. Honestly, I. Well, I had that. I don't know. I got a lot of emotions on me. I didn't see this. Right? It's the last one. It's the last one on my search. I've been searching to attend each of the big four for so long. And now. Everything has come full center. Thank you. Good job about that, guys. Here. This hey. guy has not been seen on my channel in almost three years. Yeah, getting hyped for SummerSlam. His name's Daryl, and he last time he appeared, I'll actually show you. Look at this right here.
I told you guys in the trailer he was going to show up. Of course. There he is. Of course. Every, almost everybody has assembled now. So, all right, well, we're probably going to be heading now, so you enjoy the show, man. Yeah, you too. Go with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, I'm on a Jack show. Of course, here, hanging out with us. He's, everywhere I go, he goes. He follows me. Oh, super, he super kicked me, guys. I don't know if you saw that, but he super kicked me. We're here at SummerSlam. What we got here? We got a couple fans here. Yeah. yeah. What's your what's your guys' names? Taylor. Avery. Taylor and Avery. It's really good to be here. And are you excited for SummerSlam? Yeah. Yeah. What? What are you doing? Why are you wearing my hat? Are you adjusting my hat? You adjusted mine too. Again. Again. To me again, you touch, you touch the sacred hat of America. Again. Again. You touch the hat that belongs to the wall. Announcement was first made. The summer Sam would be in Toronto. And I was attending Monday Night Raw, and one year later, here we are. Amazing. This is the culmination of my mission to attend each of the big four, and I've already lost my damn voice because of age. <laughs> it was the pre show. <laughs> oh, no, it's I got actually. nothing left for the remaining four and a half hours. What about tomorrow night? Uh, or Tuesday night. <laughs> Maybe I just won't cheer those days or something. Uh, I know you better than that. <laughs> you go nuts. Indeed you will do. <laughs> you know what's awesome? Check this out. Great right Virginia, man. Mm -hmm. And that's awesome. Is that the, who I think they are? College team. Yeah, one of the ones I closed in. National team. National champs. College basketball. My brother in Virginia. Virginia won the national championship. And now here in Toronto, the Raptors won the NBA championship. So we're doing great in basketball. <laughs> That's right. Hey, my high school won state championship. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> so this has been a great year for us when it comes to basketball. Watch, next year it's going to be bad. <laughs> but you know what? Nothing can take away this amazing moment. That's right. We're about to start the show, folks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, this. Four, one, two, one. away from SummerSlam. Stay to your minds. That SummerSlam will begin with a pyrotechnic show. Yes! have a sold out crowd. Sold out crowd. So suck a man. Yeah. Let's go Natty Becky Sucks. Let's go Natty Becky Sucks. Let's go Natty Becky Sucks. This is so fun. How great is it to be part of a Toronto crowd, man? I don't catch on the best already. Hey Sam, how's it feel to be part of a Toronto crowd? I'm liking it. There's definitely behind their uh, Toronto native in this match, yeah. or Canadian native. So. Uh, I like it. I love somebody that supports their country. So. Y'all should definitely come back for another time in Toronto. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Awesome. No! Come on, guys!
that was a no count. Could Dolph actually win this? Well, eventually he's going to catch his leg.
versus that disgusting Bailey. Are we all rooting for Ember? Pretty much, yeah. Ember. Makes sense. Well, Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Is the inhabitants of Toronto. That thank God. Thank God I'm not. I know, this is a place nobody will notice. Oh, no, 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 no! Elias is really annoying at this moment. 
What's he doing? What's he doing? He's got a chair. Kofi 
starting to build up momentum here. This guy honestly hasn't been as what? entertaining as a match as I thought it would be. That's alright. Anything's possible plus. We still got the fading coming out. That is true. Then, it's time to kill Brock Lesnar in the proper way.
Josh, do you agree? Bray's gonna kill him. He's gonna die. Oh my god. It's without doubt the scariest thing I've ever seen. Bray Wyatt just tried to break Finn's neck. Oh my god. Sister Abigail. This is it. Let him in. Let him. Taking the gloves off. You better, you better not elbow Seth on the head. And, oh. 
I should surprise there's actually wrestling going on in this match. Was, has it been a dominant fest? Uh, oh, bear hug. Oh, Seth. Come on, Seth! Oh, my God. Seth's up to it. SummerSlam, wow. wasn't it? Yowie wowie. <laughs> Full of intense moments, shocking moments. Sam, you enjoyed the show? Enjoyed the yes, show as well? I did. That was awesome. Got a flare win and some, and Brock Lesnar got beat. Yeah. And then, of course, the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, oh my God. Trish Stratus in her last match. And it's just, it's just so many crazy moments that. It's just. Yeah, it was an unforgettable show. Thank you for having me up here. Definitely, man. Now, um, I do have a question for you, though. What? How are you going to sit all this on your own? 